Hello, my beautiful darling cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. Um, I do have a Virgo and Leo only channel. The links for all of that is in the description box below. Readings can be vice versa. So flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. I'm sorry, my shirt is all dirty. I got my dogs jumping on me. Um, flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards and crystals on this channel um, if you don't mind uh, winning any one of those things you could hashtag the word all in the comment section below okay um, so my loves my tarot tutorial <coughs> is 50% off um, it's about two and a half hours to three hours long if you're looking to start a YouTube channel or learn how to read tarot you can check that out the link is below my new tarot and oracle deck are on my website you could check that out the link is below and um, if you would like to book a reading with me the link is below okay all right my darlings let's get pop in here and let's see what we have for my beautiful cancer babies today Spirit, tell me about Cancer in Love. What messages do we have here today for Cancer? Whoa, Cancer in Love. Okay. Oh my gosh, these cards really want to talk to you today. Okay. All right, so Cancer, we've got... Hmm. Okay, so we've got phone call. So definitely lines of communication are opening up between you and your person. I feel like your person, whether this is a new person or an old person, this is someone that's coming into this realization, Cancer, that even though you guys are extremely different, that you complement one another. Yeah, this is someone that is going to that is deciding to reach out to you. This person may have come off as shallow, like the, if this is a physical thing, this person may have made you feel like they weren't attracted to you or that you weren't good enough in some way shape or form, but this is someone that's coming to this realization that even though you guys are really different or even though cancer you are very different than what this person is used to that you know you guys complement each other in some way okay tell me about cancer please we've got wish and we've got thinking of you yeah so cancer what we have here is someone that is saying you know cancer isn't my normal type but i can't get them out of my head you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of interesting. Hold on one second. There's a deck that has been calling to me all day. One moment. I haven't used this deck in a while and I woke up this morning thinking about it. So let's see what this deck has to say. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. The Chariot and the Ten of Pentacles. the strength card and the page of pentacles. So cancer, this is somebody that, how do I want to put it? Like they see you as somebody that has qualities that are good for long-term relationships. Do you see what I'm saying? But I feel like they held back in this connection and kept things maybe on a friendship level because with the six of wands here, this is somebody that could be very, you know, shallow or uh, it's just maybe they're used to a certain type. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they're used to a certain type. So they kind of kept things very much like distant when it came down to you. But this person is coming into a realization that they need to understand that, you know, 
how do I want to put this? They're coming into an energy of worrying about their future. They're starting to look at who they date in a different light. They're starting to realize that, you know, good looks doesn't pay the bills or, you know, uh, whatever, whatever it is that this person is usually attracted to or whatever they usually go for isn't really what is necessary for long term commitment. Do you understand? Things like loyalty, stability, you know, ride or die type of attitude, you know, um, this is somebody that could be into looks very much or uh, a very superficial lifestyle and they're understanding that the people that are around them. So let me give you an example. Let's just say your person is into a certain type of female, okay? But these types of females generally, uh, uh, they, they rotate towards men uh, that have a lot of money or that treat them well. Do you see what I'm saying? And your person may like this. They may like like to have like arm candy or trophy wife type energy. Do you understand? But is that really solid for the long term for them? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like these type of energies are not going to be there if this person is down and out. Are, are you following where, where I'm coming from here? Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's something like along those vibes, like the type of energies that this person is usually attracted to or that this person pursues are not really wifey hubby type. It's it's not what you would want in a wife or a husband. Do you understand? And I, I feel like what's happening here with the world card is this person's perception is changing because I've got the ego uh, oracle card here and I have the six of wands. So this is someone that, you know, may be used to just having energies that like, you know, very shallow energies, you know, people that look good or whatever, but now they're starting to see life in a different way. Do you understand? Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands with the Empress and the Ten of Cups. You see, Cancer, you're sitting in Empress energy with this person. You actually bring something to the table. Do you understand? Everything that you touch turns to gold. You are someone that maybe, you know, you have your own house, you keep it clean, you run your own business. You know, they say that the Empress is like the Beyonce of the tarot, right? You are somebody that with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, this person can see themselves having a future with you, a family with you. Um, even though the people that they dated in the past are the people that they usually pursue, they've never really seen any of these energies as wife or husband material. Do you understand what I'm saying? But with you, it's just different. You bring a different energy to the table. Do you understand? And this is someone that is thinking like, you know, cancer may not be my, my usual type, but they have everything that I would want in a husband or a wife or, or with someone that, you know what I'm saying? You see Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands. This is someone that has a lot of options. They go around, they date. Um, this is someone that is very much into looks, people that like to, you know, date or have fun or travel. Like it, it's a very superficial energy. So we're going to clarify with my tarot deck, Spirit Shield Tarot. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles and the hermit. So what we have here is someone that's doing a lot of self-reflection, okay? A lot of self-reflection on what they want for their future, a lot of soul searching. And once they they come into that energy, you're going to hear from this person. We've got phone call with the page of pentacles. This person is coming in to talk cancer, okay? This is somebody that was holding back their energy from this connection. It could have been very on and off. Um, you know, page of wands and the page of pentacles this is someone that maybe wanted to keep things at a friends with benefits type of level page of pentacles here and the five of cups i feel like this person is coming in to give you an apology cancer this is someone that made you always constantly feel like you weren't enough this is someone that always pushed you to the side very easily and i i feel like they're coming into an energy where they're seeing your value here we've got the wheel of fortune twice and with the four of cups this is someone that was in an energy of constantly rejecting you do you understand so i feel like cancer this is someone that actually prayed or manifested somebody 
everybody like you. The problem is, is that you don't come in the packaging that this person is used to. Do you see what I'm saying? It, it could be that, you know, you just come from a different place. The way you speak, the way you talk, the way you look is very different than what this person is accustomed to being attracted to. But what this person loves about you is that you are everything that they want in a long-term partner. The reason why they keep pushing you away though, or, or keep, you know, distance in this connection is because, you know, you, you're very different than what they're used to dating, but they're seeing the value in you. They're seeing that, you know, um, you are in fact everything that they would want. Do you know? With the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Wands here, though, the problem that this person is going to have is that when they come back for a second chance, you have it in your head that this person doesn't want you. Do you understand what I'm saying? You you know that this person isn't attracted to you or that you are not their normal type and that really bothers you. So this could be what's blocking you from you and this person coming back together. Do you understand? I feel like you've gained the courage to emotionally disconnect or walk away from this because you see where this person invests their time and their energy and you're tired of jumping through hoops. Do you understand with the nine of cups and the four of wands when you met this person you may have felt a strong soul tie you may have thought that this person was a twin you may have you know seen a future with this person but once you got to know them a little bit better and you started to see where this person actually likes to invest their time and their energy you became um less confident in this connection do you understand you know nobody wants to feel like their person is and into them. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's how you feel with this person. This person made you feel unvalued, unworthy, unwanted, you know, rejected all the time. And now you can't get those feelings out of your head. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. We have uh, Last Try, we've got New Heights, and Better Off, and Guarded Heart under the deck. So Cancer, I feel that the last go around that you, um, that you had with this person, you gave up after that. OK, I feel like the last time you came together with this person, you know, you were hoping that it that, that this was it, that you and this person would reach new levels of commitment. And I feel like when it didn't work out, you said, this is it. I'm giving up on this. I'm walking away. I'm better off without this situation in my life. You know, someone else will come towards me. And, you know, this just isn't for me. I, I don't want to sit here and feel like, you know, I'm not good enough. That's how this person makes you feel, like you're not good enough. Tell me about cancer. Yeah, two of cups in the reverse and the ace of cups. This is it. You said, you know, I may love you, but this is done. I'm moving towards something new here. You're sitting in nine of pentacles energy. I know my worth. I'm worthy of more. Do you see what I'm saying? You know, and this person sees you as, as an empress. You understand whether you're male or female cancer, this person sees you as someone that they can build a life with. Empress energy is a master manifesting energy. Do you understand? Six of cups and the emperor. Cancer, we've got empress and emperor here. This is a twin flame union. This is, you know, a twin soul union. Very strong divine soul tie between you and this person. So this ex, this person that you chose to walk away from, this is your divine counterpart. The problem is here, Cancer, with the Ten of Swords is that you're just so tired of the pain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And look, we've got the king to the queen of pentacles here. It's like you're meant to be with this person, but you know, the way this person made you feel is uh, is something that you'll never forget. And the way this person makes you feel is that you're just not good enough, you know, and nobody wants to feel that way. Nobody wants it. Yeah, see, three of swords. This person has put so much pain in your heart, you know, you keep intuitively you feel like this is your person so you keep putting your heart out there okay and I feel like this person just has cheated on you betrayed you you saw firsthand 
where this person is willing to put their time and energy. This is someone that may have even chosen a third party over you. This is just someone that constantly made you feel like you were lower than shit. You know what I'm saying? And with the five of pentacles here and the judgment card cancer, you have made your final decision to leave this behind. You're choosing happiness. You're choosing peace, you know, two of swords. You just don't want to hear it anymore. You know, you just don't ever want to feel the way this person has made you feel you never want to experience that again tell me about the two of cups in the reverse with the queen of cups you know so cancer i i feel like there's an energy here of even though i i love you with the chariot here and the ace of cups there's got to be something better out there i'm ready for something new i'm done and i'm tired with the seven of swords the knight of wands three of swords and the ten of swords cancer this is somebody that did a number on you this is someone that was constantly cheating on you, flirting with other people. And I feel like you saw firsthand the type of people that this person is attracted to. Okay. And that put an insecurity in your heart where you're like, okay, you know, I look like this or I'm like this and you're into this and you're willing to destroy my heart and my soul and our relationship for that type of person so that's where you need to go be because I'm, I'm like I'm done being dragged through the mud because I don't look like that do you understand um cancer five of pentacles here with the three of cups and the emperor this emperor energy is, is you know i feel like you may have gone some time where you haven't spoken to this person um and what's happening is we have this actually resonates kind of with the twin flame reading i did for this week this is a divine masculine energy that is starting to focus on their future do you understand what I'm saying? So this is someone that does pursue people that look different than you, but they've never at any point in time dated these people and said, wow, this is the person I want to be with for the rest of my life. This is the person I want to build a family with. At, at no point in time have they ever had those thoughts with these people, but they've had them with you. So here, you know, there's a difference between quality over quantity. You, you understand what I'm saying? Um, I, I feel like this person is going to have their hands full, though, Cancer, because if they're going to get a second chance with you, they're really going to have to fight for it because, you know, you're sitting in at pre empress energy. You know your worth here, and this person constantly puts you in competition with energies that don't compare to you and they don't i i just got to keep it real with you they don't you know what i'm saying you know the these other and i'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with these queen of wands energies we saw the seven of cups and the queen of wands before there's nothing wrong with these people but a queen of wands is not an empress you understand what i'm saying um don't get me wrong, an empress is the embodiment of all four queens. If the empress decides that, you know, they want to go into queen of wands mode, the empress can do that. The empress has been in queen of wands mode. Do you understand? But this is somebody that is saying, no, I'm done feeling jealous. I'm done feeling insecure. I'm done living in fear. I'm done, you know, being treated that way because I don't need to. I don't need, I've never needed you in my life. I loved you. I wanted you in my life. I wanted a future with you, but I don't need to be treated like that. You know what I'm saying? This isn't a situation, Cancer, where you're broke and you don't have the money to leave. No, you do just fine on your own. You don't need any of this shit in your life. And the only thing that this person has brought into your heart, the five of wands, what is the essence of the five of wands? When you have jealousy in a relationship why does that happen that stems from feelings of fear and insecurity and low self-esteem and feeling like you're not good enough and cancer this person has brought that out in you and it's a low vibrational energy and it's an energy that you don't want to sit in because you don't need to be sitting in that energy do you understand um 
this is, you know what I'm saying? You you just don't need to be sitting in this energy. These people don't even compare to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, it, what you bring to the table doesn't compare to what these people bring to the table. And, you know, you're sitting in an energy of, listen, this is, you want to be over there with those type of people. And that's where you need to go be because that's what makes your heart happy. I'm done feeling worthless. I'm done feeling worthless when I am actually worth a lot. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, and I feel like Cancer with the Knight of Cups here and the Hanged Man, it has taken this person a long time to understand that concept and they want to come in and apologize. But with the Five of Swords, this person is going to have their hands full, Cancer. This person is going to really have to fight if they want your love back. You know what I'm saying? They're really going to have to fight because with the Two of Swords and the Six of Swords, you never want to feel that way again. Do you understand what I'm saying? You just never want to feel the way this person has made you feel ever again. Okay? So let's take it into the extended and let's see, you know, is this person going to succeed in getting you back? Will there be reconciliation here? What will happen if you reconcile? Um, what will happen if you walk away? Okay. You know, should you reconcile? Should you walk away? Let's, let's see what is going to come here. Cause I am seeing a very strong, I mean, we've got the emperor and the empress here, guys. You know what I'm saying? I, I am seeing a very strong soul tie between you guys. Um, okay. All right. So the link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and I will see you there. Take care, my loves.